Hi, this is Mike Slowinski, Library Media Coordinator for the West Pier School District. Uh, today we are going to learn how to upload files to our website so that way students and parents are able to download documents right from their own home. So what I'm going to do is show you a finished product first. Um, so we're on the English 9 page. Um, I made a text box called Course Materials and then you can download course materials as I hand them out in class. So the first one that I put up here is syllabus and if a student from their home clicked on syllabus it brings them right to the English 9 syllabus for them so they could print it off if they ended up losing a worksheet they have access to it 24 7. So that's what we're going to learn how to do today. Alright so I've just logged into CMS for Schools and what I'm going to do is click on edit my profile on the left side menu and then I'm going to go down to my file uploads um, and what this is is basically a little database of the different documents that you're going to upload um, you need to put them in this spot before you can actually link to them on your website so what you'll need to do is to create folders uh, for your documents to go into so as you can kind of see here I like to create a folder that corresponds to the club or the class that the documents are associated with so I'm going to go ahead um, and make a new folder for my English 9A class. So um, I'm going to type in English 9A, again using lowercase uh, letters and no spaces, and I'll create the folder. Okay, now I want to add files to the folder. I'm just going to add one file, but you could add up to 10 at a time, so it'll make the process faster if you have a lot of files to upload. Um, so I'm going to click on add file and then it's going to ask me to browse for it on my computer. So I have my ninth grade syllabus uh, ready to go here and you can see I have two versions. I have a Microsoft Word and I have a PDF. Uh, in general you're going to want to go with a PDF just because it's more compatible for the students and parents who will be looking at it. So if they don't have Microsoft Word at home, chances are they'll still be able to read the PDF version. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the PDF version there and click add. Okay, now um, my ninth grade English syllabus went into my 9A folder. Um, and if you want to see that, I'll go back. You don't have to do this when you're actually doing the process, but just to show you, if I go back to my file uploads, here's my English 9A folder I just created. If I click on that, there's my ninth grade English syllabus. Alright, so what I'm going to want to do is to uh, right click on the syllabus and I want to copy the shortcut. Alright, so CMS for Schools has now created a, a URL or a link for this document and so we need to copy that link. So click on copy shortcut and then you want to go to the page where you're going to want to paste it. So I want to click on my English 9 page and what I'll do is add a text uh, text box on my page. So I select Text Graphic Editor, place at the top of the page. That's where I uh, where I'd like it, and I'll click Add. All right. So here's my text box. So the first thing that I like to do at the top of a text box is to make a line just to separate uh, content and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, center and type in uh, course materials. Uh, now I'd like that a little bit bigger since that's a heading so I'll go bold and underlined and then I'll make the size a medium. Okay and then I'll enter down I'm going to go back to left justify and I'm going to go a little bit smaller with my text here um, take off the bold and the underline, go back to small, and I want to type in the text of the link that uh, will lead to the document. So um, I'll type in syllabus since that's what I want it to read on the internet. And in order to get this text to link up with the document, you're going to have to highlight the desired text, and then this icon right here, the world with the little link by it, is to insert a link. So I click on there, and it brings up, I have to put in the URL of the link that I want. So since we're linking to a document, I've already copied the shortcut uh, from the My File Uploads. I'm just going to right click and paste 
that um, document's URL right in there. All right, and when I'm ready, I click OK. And as you can see, now this has turned into a link. Um, so when I'm all finished, it's really important to go all the way down and click Add. And this saves it. And um, now my text box is, is complete. So I can go ahead and preview and see what this will look like out on the live internet. And so if somebody clicked on my English 9 link, here's what it'll look like. There's the syllabus link, and if I click on it, it brings me right to the syllabus. So, um, you know, again, this is really nice for your students and for the parents to be able to see the material that um, they are handed out in class. And also, if students lose or misplace um, various documents from your class, that they are able to get it uh, anytime and anywhere. So if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to give me a call. My extension is 1333. All right, good luck.